What is up, my Squirtalites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more No Man's Sky. In the last episode, we made the jump back to the new system that we uncovered a few episodes back. Uh, we haven't really explored this system at length. We pretty much just checked out one planet and then the anomaly. But we're back here, and we're going to be checking out all of the planets in this system in particular. I am going after some ancient bones, so let's grab those. Beautiful grubby bone fragments are approximately 129 years old. The skull in the coll this collection of bones boasts an unusual number of eye sockets, which challenges the challenges this creature face in life to prompt the development of so many eyes. So we got that added to our uh, inventory. That one's worth a pretty good amount. I'm going to look around for any other possible burial sites in the area. Buried technology does not matter as much to me as the actual bones, which I'm going to check out once again, I think, once we go to uh, this place over here. So, Miner Settlement arrive in 16 hours. I am going to be heading there next. So, when I landed initially, there I did a scan that, I performed a scan that told me that they, we are actually in the vicinity of a settlement. And I was a little confused at first, but I have since seen the light, and obviously this is where we're going to be going. I'm going to try to get back to my ship before my thermal protection falls all the way down. And we're going to take that across the planet to hopefully uh, see and find what we can get at the settlement because hopefully there's something valuable over there. And again, maybe there's some more ancient bones in the vicinity because those are pretty darn good for selling. Obviously, the one downside to getting bones is that you get chased by pirates once you leave. But the good news is, is unlike the stuff that we were collecting in the last episode, we don't have to worry about freaking sentinels attacking us. Thank goodness for that. Because that was freaking obnoxious. Um, what are these things? Can I scan these? I cannot. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. These solar vines. Can I mess with them at all? Hazmat gauntlet required. It's got selenium in them. Well, I am going to have to get myself a hazmat gauntlet at some point. Because I do not have access to that right now. And also, my thermal protection is going way the heck down. So, I really need to book it. Get back to my ship. So, let's do another... Boost. Oh, make that landing soft. I tried. I did try. I at least softened the blow a little bit, but wasn't as much as I would have liked. Let's get back into our ship and get a move on. So, as I take off here, let me find the settlement over here. And we're going to boost our way on over there. So, I'm going to tag that. And if I boost like this, that's going to take me too long. So, what I'm going to do... Can I engage my pulse drive here and then try to go right over top of it? Let's do it like this. Yeah, yeah, uh, Can I pulse drive? I'm going to do the pulse drive again. Almost there. Beautiful. Okay, now we can land. It's kind of a obnoxious going right over the top of planets sometimes, but... It worked out. So this is basically on the opposite side. What are we going to find here, I wonder? Hello? Oh, interesting. What is, do we have going on here? This looks like a house of some sort. Also, that is a very big thing. Can I land on this? I think I can. I am going to try. Did I make it? I might have overshot the pad a little bit. I think I did. That's okay. We're good. Okay, what do we got going on here? I was not expecting this. Another one of these things. Can I look at you? No, I can't. Can I go inside? I can. Oh, there's people living in this one. It's a little trade center. Cool. I guess I can uh, access various things. We got a weapon term terminal. Let's take a look. The Burning Hustle's Silencer. Um, compare with current mini tool. Let's take a look. So, better damage potential, better scanner range. It's basically better in every single way. The only difference is that I would need to take my mining laser off of it. Um, yeah, because this is a little bit better. Also, terrain manipulator, I need that off as well. This also has a lot more technology slots. 
It's got the analysis visor, the scanner, and the mining beam, though, at least. So that's good. So I really only need to take these two pieces off of my current uh, multi-tool. And then I guess I could do the exchange. But that would actually be totally worth getting, wouldn't it? Uh, let me do that really quickly. Uh, let's see. So let's store... Do I want to store it? Yeah, I'll store it. In... I can't put it on my ship like this, can I? Maybe I can move it into my exosuit? No, I can't. Well, what the heck? Do I just buy it, maybe? Maybe I should just buy it. Instead of making the trade overall. Let's just add it to the collection. And then what I can do here, possibly, is... Where is my other... Can I go to my other multi-tool? Hold on. Okay, so I looked around, and I do not see any way of getting the tech back from my old multi-tool, but I guess it doesn't matter because I have more than enough to get pretty much everything, except the advanced mining laser. I do need to get myself some more wiring looms, which I do not have access to here, so oops, didn't know that. Now I know. Uh, that's going to be, make things a little bit better for me, but what I can do is I can add in a waveform recycler to make our recharge a little bit better. We have a better weapon as well and then i'm also going to add a personal force field although i need to make myself more ion batteries so let's do that although i am still like i said missing wi wiring looms so i'm going to need to go get three more of those which i'm going to probably have to get from the space station um in fact if i actually uh oh pirate attack vector detected what oh i wait bullcaster pulse splitter yeah this is what i want so this weapon here i can actually use are they attacking me outside oh they are what is going on? Wait, hostile ships? What's going on? Is it outside right now? Whoa, 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 Are they attacking me? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Who do these guys think they are? Are you for real? Hold on. Can I attack? Or, or, I, oh, here we go. Yeah, let's, let's take off. Okay, where are they at? Where are they at? There you are. Okay, you guys need to get the heck on out of here go go away go away don't overheat thank you okay where's the other one at he's around here somewhere there he is get him ow 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 it's okay i can always recharge who do these guys think they are man just attacking out of nowhere go away oh i'm not landing any shots here there we go there we go almost got him almost got him I gotta stop hitting the right stick so much. He is so weak. There we go. Got him. Beautiful. Is that it? No, we're good. Standing increased. Viking. Beautiful. All right. Now I can head back down. Goodness me. So wait. Hold on. Is this... Wait a minute. This isn't even the same thing, is it? This isn't even the same thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is another building. I mean, I'm not going to complain. There's multiples of these. Just a moment. What in the world? I wasn't expecting more of these buildings. There's a ton here. What is this? Call Starship? No, I'm not going to do that. Um, what the heck is going on? I was not expecting this at all. Microprocessor. I didn't think there was going to be so many things here. Well, let's chart this sector. Really quickly. The, the Dicena Station. Wonder if these guys got anything interesting in them, and maybe they have a trade terminal in here, possibly, potentially. Let's see. Hello. What do you got? Research specimen. I'll take that. More standing increased. What we got in here? Nothing. I don't want to. No, I don't want to sit. I do not want to sit. I will fix this damaged machinery though, because I would like to get myself some more nanites. So, thank you very much. Now, what is going on in here? Extract nanites. Those are free. Read encyclopedia. More Viking words. Well, this is freaking cool. And now what happens if I go into the big building? I'm going to go in there. Let's go head up upstairs and see what we can find. This is not what I was expecting at all. Like how there's a button for climbing the ladder. Hello? 
Oh man, why is your house so tall? Seems a little bit silly. I don't actually have to press... Oh, I can just walk up and interact with it. Wait a minute. Is there anything even up here? Oh, there. Oh, there's more to it. There's more to it. Goodness me. This just keeps going up and up and up. Holy cow. What is this? Holographic comms tower. Holo terminus activated. Network traffic low. Access records. There are no incoming calls currently registered with the holo terminus. Logs from the previous call are available. Let's access them. It's all in Viking, so I can't really understand what it's actually saying, unfortunately. What is this thing? I honestly have no idea. This is so confusing. It's weird. Okay, I wasn't expecting to find all this stuff. There's another one over that way. Which I guess we can head on over towards. And I know it's going to be dumb for me to take my ship over there, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just for the sake of walking. I know I don't want to use my launch thruster anymore, but I want to see what this one has. All these, like, settlement things here. It's really weird. Okay. Can we land without landing on something weird? Please, thank you. All right. So what's in this one? Almost landed on top of this. And again, that's where I'm supposed to call my starship to. Some big satellite dish. Got these buildings we can go into. And another one with more damaged machinery. Once again, let's uh, send this to our starship for the time being. Get some more nanites out of that. Let's head on in here. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have anything going on. What about in the other room? This one's got free nanites. Okay, we'll take that, but that's really it. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but I was expecting a little bit more of this one, and that's got another one of those towers. I don't think I'm going to climb that. Probably need to learn more Viking words before I end up doing that. Where? Okay, I need to find the station again really quickly, so hold on. Because in all of that fighting, I kind of got myself a little lost. Which was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Can I head on up and then take a look at... Oh, where was it? it was. I think it was this one over here, was it not? It may have been. So I cannot... Like, no matter where I look, I cannot find this place again that I found before. It is just completely lost to me. And no matter what I do, it doesn't also help that it's so dark out. But I, yeah, I just cannot see this settlement no matter where I look. So I'll tell you what. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to land. And I'm going to give it just a quick scan around the area that we're in. Because I want to see if there are any, as I scan that little guy over there... I want to see if there are any ancient bones in the area. Because if there are, and there are, there you go. Burial site. Another burial site there. Floating crystal that I won't mess with. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get, dig up some of those ancient bones. I'm going to head on over that way as fast as I can. Uh, and once we do that, and then I'll probably call my starship over to me once that is said and done. But once we do that, I think then we can move on from this place... And, uh, well, see what's in store after the fact. I did not expect to spend as much time on this planet as I have, but it ended up being a lot more interesting than I was expecting. Got myself a pretty cool weapon, too, so I like this. This is awesome. It definitely does more damage than our uh, former one, although it does... I don't know if I like the damage that it puts out as much, because it's, it's got more of a travel time to it, but I don't know. We're gonna, we'll make it work. So let's head on over here. Are we good? Uh, is everything scanned in this area? That's new. Whatever that derpy looking thing is. All right, let's keep going. And then the other burial site was not too far from here, so that works out mostly beautifully. Up we go. There we go. All right. Let's keep sprinting. This is the constant trade off of sprinting into jetpack jumping. Oh, why did I go? I, I saw that I was flying right towards that plant. And I didn't do anything about it. That was really dumb. Let's continue this way. 
And then obviously we can call our ship to us once all is said and done, and then move on from here. Goodness me. And then there's more of these things with the selenium in them that I'm not going to be able to mess with at all. Unfortunately. I need to go get more wiring looms. Which I will also do. Is there another one straight ahead? There is. They're right. Oh, they're right next to each other. There's two. Oh, that's good. Well, let's do both. Take those bones. No! Wait a minute. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I am going to get rid of some things then because that cannot do. What am I going to get rid of here? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. I need these bones. Let me get rid of the viscous fluids. What else can I get rid of that I don't need? I should have dropped more off in the ship. I didn't think about it. I kind of want to get rid of the... Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely get rid of the feline liver. I don't need that. Mordite. Don't need that. There we go. Okay, now let's take those. We got more burial sites here. Another one found. Ancient skeletal fragments. Another one here. Take that. Time-worn skeletal fragments. I didn't lose out on the one that I picked up, did I? I think I may have, which is not... Does not make me happy. Well, I've got a few fragments, at least. So I'll take those, but I've only got one more inventory space. So what I think I'll do is... Let's head on over... Where, where, did, I, where did I leave it off at? There. So, not too far away from here. Let's tag that... I'm also going to scan that as well, because it's in the area. I'm going to head on over there, and what I'll do is I'll call my, call my starship to me. I can drop a bunch of stuff off in the ship, and then I can go and collect these bones wherever they are. Hopefully, again, this one has a bunch. And then I can go and obviously sell all this stuff at uh, the space station. Oh, my goodness. Man, you can get some really freaking cool stuff. And it's absolutely worth it going after big things like this. I know that I've kind of made bones my, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to call our starship here. Let's, uh, do, 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 summon the owl. There you go. All right, and now that that is in range, I can move a lot of this stuff on over to... So let's move this to the starship. There we go. Just like so. Get rid of all this stuff. And then we can collect those bones. Okay, cool. So let's get in here. What is this one? Is that a good one? I actually don't know. Uh, I can't... Oh, there we go. It's going to wonder if it's going to let me get through there. Okay, yellowed bones. Not too great. There we go. Finally preserved skeleton. Approximately 22, uh, 73 years old. A manuf uh, manufactured artifact adorned this magnificent skeleton in death. Was this once an intelligent life form, a beloved pet? The bones are alone are inconclusive, but this is nonetheless a remarkable find. That is what I was looking for. Then we got more bones there. What is that one? I actually don't know. What? Oh, peculiar partial skeleton. Well, okay, and then we got a buried mineral formation. I don't really see any more bones in the vicinity, so I think that is enough for me to call it. Okay, so let's get back in the Prime Owl. And let's get the heck out of here. And then what I'm going to do is once we launch out of here, we're probably going to get attacked again, be my guess. I do see another planet over that way, but that is not what has my interest. What does is the space station. So let's tag that and let's head on over that way. This is not the anomaly that I'm thinking of, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, well, this is, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it is the anomaly that I'm thinking of. Here we go. All right, begin docking approach. Beautiful. I've got stuff to sell, a lot of stuff to sell. And luckily, as soon as I get within the range of these space stations, I'm usually pretty good. And I also have a fair bit of nanites that I can spend here as well. Although I remember browsing in here and I wasn't super impressed with a lot of the stuff that I could find. So let's get the heck on out. And let's go get some units. Okay. 
So what in the world can I sell all this stuff for this time? I have so many interesting and weird little goodies in this area. This is actually not where the trade terminal is. It's on the other side. Although there is, I believe, a trade terminal back in here. Yes, there is. Okay, let's use this one. So, can I get some wiring looms here, possibly? Uh, there's all sorts of stuff. Not what I'm after, though. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's buy... Let's buy a few of these, actually. I'm gonna buy, like, that many, because I might end up actually needing those, and you're probably going, that's a lot to, to spend. Well, if I can head on in here, let's sell that. Let's move on. Do I want to sell Pugnium? Uh, I don't know if I do. Uh, we got Corvax casings. I'm gonna hold, hold on to those. Glowing minerals. There we go. Well-preserved pneumatics. Although the demand here is kind of low on these, so I think I'll hold on to that one for now. We'll sell the grubby bone fragments and the time-worn skeleton, skeletal fragments. The finely preserved skeleton? Yes. I will definitely sell that. Peculiar partial skeleton. Ancient skeletal fragments. Another grubby partial skeleton. And that is a lot of freaking units. We also got buzzing plating, which this is up. And then I think I'll hang on to the salvage data. But the well-preserved pneumatics, I'm going to find a new place if, to see if I can sell that somewhere else. But that is a lot of units to have gotten. So we should be good. I can also use this opportunity to finally install my wiring looms on these to get my personal force field up. Also get the advanced mining laser part up. And now we have all of these technology modules where I can install more stuff for my multi-tool. So that's pretty cool. Um, and speaking of the devil, multi-tool uh, upgrade station. I can actually... Okay, I'm not going to purchase new slot, but upgrade class, 25,000 nanites. No, thank you. Let's see, what do you have here? This is a C-class, so I'm not even going to bother with that. As for you, for the multi-tool research... Let's see. Purchase upgrade modules. What do we have here that's any good? So, scatter blaster module upgrade. Is that what I'm using? The scatter blaster? I actually don't know. I don't have the nanites for it. But, blaze javelin mining beam module. Make the make it a whole lot better. Geology cannon? No, thank you. Oh, I'm using the I'm using the pulse splitter. That's right. Okay. Well, there's nothing in there that's really all that worthwhile to me. And I'm not going to probably mess with you. And then I'm not going to mess with you either. Okay, so I think we're good on everything that I wanted. Locate a long-distance transmitter, though. Um, this is... okay. Oh, this was for Artemis. Can I do this here? I actually don't know. Where, where is that? Off-planet. Hollow Terminus. Approximate location. Well, I'm going to have to go back to that a little bit later. Uh, what about in over here, though? No, I don't want to... I don't want to go to any of you guys. Do you have anything? I know it's the same. Uh, I know it's the same uh, economy, but obviously there are like different things that can be found in this one. Phosphorus. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, that's kind of all. All I wanted to do was to sell that stuff. Uh, guys, let's call this an episode. I know it's been a little all over the place, but still trying to explore things, find new stuff. We've got a few more planets to take a look at, including this one's moons, as well as this planet over here. I'm going to be take, taking a look, seeing what we can find in these. I think what I'll do is I'll be a little less... Uh, I'll be a little less liberal in just checking out absolutely, literally just everything. Where I'm going to actually try to uh, analyze each planet before we go in and go crazy on each and every single one of them, because... You know, obviously some of these aren't necessarily worth my time, depending on the sort of things that we find in and around them. So I, I don't want to go too crazy. We'll just kind of check every single thing out as we go and uh, be a little bit more diligent with my... I'll be a little bit more diligent with my scanning and the like. So, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.